Right, method feeder fishing. For some reason, and I don't know why, same as me in the past, it hasn't been that popular. Can't imagine why. When you see the amount of big fish, the, the fish we're catching here, like 20 pounders and that, that the match anglers catch, this has got to start coming into our angling. So at Avid, we've developed a, a new flatbed feeder designed at carp angling, not match angling, as to speak. It's got an interchangeable body. The stem, as you can see there, it's got a little tooth on the end. You pull it in, twist around and it locks up key. Okay, we'll change that over and show you. We have tried to make it as easy as possible. And there you go. Right, the body comes off. And the body, looks like a little beetle actually, but the body then slips back on again. And you turn it, bump, she's locked in again. So, also, before we get onto the loading of it, the safety aspect, because that's locked now, it's just pulled in and she'll run away. So if we do get a break off, the fish hooks up or the feeder catches up, bump, she'll break away, leaving the fish just to deal with the hook. Now we've got four sizes, two sizes, four weights, ounce and a half, two ounces, two and a half and three. That's obviously unloaded. So loaded on that, you're going to put another I don't know, a couple of ounces on that maybe. But we need to get this more in our carp fishing. Now I'm going to load it up. It is, I mean, that's how simple it is to set it up. Two and a half inch hook link, single bit of plastic. That'll just sink, so we want it to sit on top of the feeder. I'm going to load it up for you now. Right, to load it, simple as pellet preparation first. It's not straight from the bag. Kilo of two mil S pellets in there. Big spoon full of this sticky stuff. Make it damp. Stir it around, it's going to take about five minutes to, to prepare itself, but you'll know when you get if you squeeze it together, you get a nice big handful of it. Right, first of all, a little sprinkling in the bottom of the press just to sit the hook bait into. Sit her in there, and then we're going to bring the press right up to full level. The mould, should we call it. There you go. Right, we're right up to the top there. Lay your feeder in the top. A good squeeze down, not going to break anything here. A nice good squeeze down and then flip it up and just push the press, hold the feeder in the palm of your hand and it's released. You're not going to get any better presentation than that. A little tip is from the match guys, just prior to casting, damp hand, give it, I'm not going to do it now because that will pull off on my dry hand. Damp hand, give it a squeeze, makes it a bit more solid for your casting. Now there's no excuses, myself included, not to be seeing these being used on the bank this year a bit more often.